Her name is Marla. Her name is Marla, and to her I am Toffee, though my parents named me Alison. Actually, it was Mum who made that decision. Dad didn't care about a bawling baby in her name the day I showed up. He had more important things on his mind. And now, Marla sleeps in a bedroom next to mine with forget-me-nots climbing the papered walls, snoring, lying on her back, lips parted. Sometimes, at night, she wakes, wails, flails and begs the air to leave her alone, leave her alone. I scuttle in, stroke her arm with my fingertips. I'm here, it's okay, you're just having a bad dream. That usually settles her. She'll look up, like I'm the very person she expected to see, shut her eyes and float away again. The mattress on my bed is so soft I sink. The cotton sheets are paper thin from too much washing. Nets, not curtains, cover my window. Street lights blare in. This is not my home. This is not my room. This is not my bed. I am not who I say I am. Marla isn't who she thinks she is. I am a girl trying to forget. Marla is a woman trying to remember. Sometimes I am sad. Sometimes she is angry. And yet, here, in this house, I am so much happier than I have ever been.